Hello guys, welcome back again to another video of your class 12 mathematics. In today's video, we're going to study about your increasing and decreasing function, which falls under your chapter 6, application of derivative. So, your increasing and decreasing function, basically it's about your exercise 6.2. So, you can just look over here that for increasing, is given that your x1 is less than x2 so in short f of x1 there should be an equal to sign over here okay so that means in another term i can say that if x1 is greater than x2 it indicates that your f of x1 should be greater than or equal to your f of x2 so which is nothing more than your strictly sorry which is nothing more than your nothing more than your increasing function so if that's the increasing function and similar manner your x1 greater than x2 implies that your f of x1 greater than f of x2 if you look over here there is no equal to sign so it, it denotes that it's nothing more than your strictly increasing okay and same goes with decreasing and strictly decreasing so there are five points you can just pause the video and then write it down this one so that's all about your increasing and decreasing function so same thing the next one is about your theorem and this term basically is about given that it's about increasing and decreasing most probably we're going to use it for strictly increasing and strictly decreasing why because if you can look over here there is no equal to sign yes or no if there is no equal to sign it means that's probably about your strictly increasing and strictly decreasing this one theorem i'm just writing the same thing as your textbook itself okay so let us try to start with your exercise then your exercise 6.2 your question number one is given that show that show that the function f of x is equal to 3x plus 17 is increasing or i can say strictly increasing also same thing on r so if i do that if i differentiate f, f of x is equal to i'll get here 3 so that is nothing more than greater than zero so hence it is increasing on r so that's all about your question number one now let me just jump to your question number three your question number three is given that so that the function f of x is equal to your sin x is number a strictly increasing on the interval zero comma pi by two decreasing number p strictly decreasing on the interval uh, pi by 2 comma pi let's drop this one yeah pi by 2 comma pi then number c is neither so neither increasing nor decreasing on the interval 0 comma pi so let me just start with first strictly increasing okay so whenever you go strictly increasing first of all find f dash x you got this one to be your cos x so on interval 0 comma pi by 2 so let me go with your rough so once i go with your rough i got here the first one let me go with cos 0 i got the answer to be 1 and cos pi by 2 i got the answer to be 0 so i can say from here that your f dash x is equal to your cos x is greater than 0 why because i got the answer to be positive over here so hence it is strictly increasing on 0 comma pi by 2 so that's all about your question number a now let me do your b in the same thing so number b is again the interval is given to be pi by 2 comma pi and i got your f dash x is equal to your cos x now again your same thing let me just draw with the graph uh, in the rough so i got the cos pi by 2 the answer is nothing more than 0 similarly the cos pi i got the answer to be minus 1 which is nothing more than negative and negative means the answer is less than zero so hence it is strictly decreasing on pi by two comma pi for number c i can say that from the from the above result of a and b we can we can say we can say that your on interval uh, i got interval 0 comma pi it is neither increasing nor decreasing 
and why is that so is because if you can look over here in 0 comma pi let me just take the middle term the middle term will be nothing more than pi by 2 again let me do at your rough the value for cos pi by 2 happens to be 0 and once i got the answer to be 0 according to theorem it will nothing more than a constant and if it's constant it means it's neither increasing nor decreasing so that's all about your question number three okay now once i have done with your question number three let me go with your question number four okay for question number four there is one step over there which i'm gonna show you now uh, after i'm done with the question your question number four Question number four is given that uh, f of x, just wait for a while. Yeah, your question number four is given to be, uh, I have to find the interval. Remember, I have to find the interval for nothing more than f of x is equal to your 2x squared minus 3x. Okay, so uh, interval for nothing more than your strictly increasing and your strictly decreasing. So I can say that your f dash x, which will be nothing more than 2 to the 4x minus 3. So whenever you're going to find the interval, always know that you have to carry this line. That is f dash x would be is equal to your 0. And why is it equal to 0? Is because in order to find the value for x. Okay. So there will be 4x minus 3 is equal to 0. So x is equal to your 3 by 4. So once I do it, if I have to draw a number line, that will be your 3 by 4 which is your critical point okay so if there's a critical point less than there it will be your minus infinity more than 3 by 4 that will be your infinity that means i got two points 3 by 4 and then 3 by 4 comma infinity and remember your f this x is nothing more than this one and from here what can you do is that you can draw a table so that it will be easy for all of us so if you draw a table the first one do write on the interval and next one, do write down your sign of f dash x. And last one, do write down your nature. That means whether that's increasing or decreasing. Okay. So if the first one, if I take the interval to be minus infinity, comma, 3 by 4. Now take any number between minus infinity, comma, 3 by 4. Let me take 1 by 2. So once I take 1 by 2, if I put the value for 1 by 2 into your f dash x, that means I'll get how much? I'll get a 4 into 1 by 2 minus 3. That means 2 minus 3, which is minus 1 that means i get sign nothing more than negative negative it means decreasing why decreasing because less than zero similarly for 3 by 4 comma infinity i'll get suppose i take 5 by 4 so 5 by 4 again same thing if i put 5 by 4 inside over here i'll get here 4 into 5 by 4 minus 3 that means your 4 minus 3 which is 1 1 means positive so greater than zero so that is nothing more than increasing right so for increasing so 3 by 4 comma infinity is for increasing and minus infinity comma 3 by 4 is for decreasing so that is how your question of 4 is to be done whenever you're going to find interval okay so let me again do your next question so the next question let me start with your question number seven your question number seven is given that your y is equal to your log of one plus x minus two x divided by two plus x and i have to prove that it is an increasing function on x throughout the domain that means i have to prove that it's nothing more than x minus one this is what i'm going to prove okay so let me start so I, I will get here dy by dx that means I differentiate with respect to x that means I'll get a 1 divided by 1 plus x and there is nothing more than a quotient rule so there will be your 2 plus x into 2 minus 2x divided by 2 plus x the whole thing square so there will be 1 divided by 1 plus x and it will be minus 4 divided by 2 plus x the whole thing square so if i take the lcm that will be 1 plus x and then 2 plus x the whole thing square so there will be 2 plus x the whole thing square minus 4 1 plus x so which would be uh, 4 plus 4x plus x square minus 4 minus 4x divided by 1 plus x and then 2 plus x the whole thing square against the 4x 4x minus 4 4 can be cancelled so i got your x square divided by 1 plus x and then your 2 plus x the whole thing square 
okay that's your dy by dx or i can say that uh, nothing more than or your f dash x i got it to be x square divided by 2 plus x the whole thing square and then 1 plus x so then this because we are dealing with increasing then increasing function would be nothing more than your f dash x would be greater than or equal to zero so in short x square divided by 2 plus x the whole thing square 1 plus x should be greater than or equal to zero now pay attention over here is that i got this one to be square and square is always positive similarly i got this one to be your square it's always positive positive means it's always increasing now i have to check whether this one is increasing or not right so in order to do it that will be nothing more than one plus x would be greater than zero and why i'm writing greater than zero is because your one plus x is at the denominator and if i take this one to equal to zero that means it will one by zero and one by zero is nothing more than your undefined and that cannot happen so i got one plus x greater than zero so x is greater than minus one hence proof which is what i'm gonna prove i hope you're clear and the same thing you can pause the video and then check once again so that's all about your question number seven let me do your next question your next question is all about question number eight the question number eight is given that find the value of x for y is given to be x and then x minus two the whole thing square is increasing that means i have to find a value for x which is increasing In short, I have to find interval, which is increasing. Okay, I have to find this one. So again, the same thing. I got y. That means if I do your dy by dx, if I differentiate, I have to consider this one to be x. So x square is two, and then x x minus two. So that's one. But that's not x. So if there's not x, nothing is there between them. If nothing is there between them, product rule. So it will be x plus x minus two. Yeah. So there's 2, I got the x, x minus 2, and that's x plus x is 2x, 2x minus 2, I can take 2 common, so into 2, and then x minus 1. So 2, 2 is a 4, so I'll get here x, x minus 1, and then x minus 2. Okay, so that's all about your f dash x. So I can say that uh, for f dash x is equal to 0, that means your 4, x, x minus 1, x minus 2 and then x yeah there's no 3 sorry x minus 2 so which will be is equal to 0 so it will be either your x would be is equal to 0 or x would be is equal to 1 or x would be is equal to 2 so from this one if i have to draw a number line i'll be getting nothing more than uh, 0 1 2 and then there will be infinity and then minus infinity that means the number line will be right 0 comma 1 1 comma 2 2 comma infinity remember that i got your f dash x to be nothing more than 4 x x minus 1 x minus 2 i got this one okay so i have to find the interval let me draw the graph oh sorry the table the first one will be nothing more than interval the next one is sine of f dash x and last one is nature okay so let me take with the first one that is minus infinity comma zero so between minus let me take minus one so once i put the value of minus one over here that means the first term i'll get here is minus 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 is minus and then this will be minus that means it's less than zero okay so less than zero is nothing more than decreasing next one let me go with 0 comma 1 so 0 comma 1 let me take it to be 0 comma 0 0.5 over here itself so if i take 0 0.5 it will be plus because that's 0 0.5, 0 0.5 minus 1 is minus and that will be minus so which is minus minus plus plus greater than 0 that means it's increasing next 1 comma 2 let me take 1 comma 2 1.5 so if i take 1.5 that will be plus that will be plus and that will be minus so that is less than zero that means it's decreasing and similarly last one if i take it to be uh, three so three means uh, the first one will be that's your two comma infinity right plus next one also is plus lastly is also plus so everything's plus greater than zero that means it's increasing 
so that means for f dash x to be increasing your x belongs to nothing more than 0 comma 1 union 2 comma infinity so that's your answer okay so that's all about your question number eight so then same thing let me do your next question let me just try to do your question number 11 your question number 11 is given that your f of x is equal to x square minus x plus one i have to prove that is neither strictly increasing nor decreasing on the interval minus one comma one so same thing f dash x would be 2x minus 1 so f dash x 4 that is equal to 0 so 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 by 2 so if i draw a number line that will be 1 by 2 minus infinity and then infinity so i can say that 4x belongs to the first interval will be minus infinity comma 1 by 2 minus infinity comma 1 by 2 let me take one number so x is equal to 0 so the f dash x would be less than zero because if you can check it will turn into zero minus one so which is less than zero similarly uh, for x belongs to the next one will be one by two comma infinity one by two comma infinity let x is equal to one so if you take x is equal to one put into f dash x the value for f dash x would be greater than zero yes or no and lastly for x belongs to minus 1 comma 1 i can say that f dash x is greater than 0 and f dash x is less than 0 so hence it is neither increasing nor decreasing and how did i got it you can just give equation 1 and equation 2 from equation 1 and 2 you can just check okay so that's all about your question number 11 okay now in the same way let me do your next question your next question is given to be your question number 14 your question number 14 is given that i have to find the value for a for which your f of x is equal to x square plus ax plus 1 is increasing on the interval increasing okay increasing on the interval nothing more than 1 comma so I got here f dash x would be 2x plus a. So if I got f dash x to be 2x plus a, so for f of x to be strictly increasing your for x belongs to 1 comma 2, your f dash x would be greater than 0. That means your 2x plus a should be greater than 0. a should be greater than minus 2x. All right so uh, i can say that the least value of a for the function to be increasing now if you can look over here i got your x belongs to 1 comma 2 so in order to be increasing the least value for x2 is nothing more than your 1 or not so it will be is x is equal to 1 so that means it will be a is equal to minus 2 into 1 a is equal to minus 2 and that's your answer for your question number 14